So my presentation is over the sonic screwdriver, which is a fictitious, uh, fictitious tool in the TV series Doctor Who that is used by the Doctor. You don't necessarily need to know what Doctor Who is or who the Doctor is to understand what a sonic screwdriver is. Basically, it's just a multi-purpose tool that originated as a screwdriver that has brought it into something that is capable of doing a lot of amazing things, not all of it really possible with what it actually is, which is, is a tool that you harnesses sonic um, sound waves to unscrew screws or move objects or unlock doors. And this quote I have right here, I feel really harnesses the nature of what the sonic screwdriver is. It says, harmless is just a word, that's why I like it, doesn't kill, doesn't wound, doesn't maim. I'll tell you what it does do, it is very good at opening doors. So what is a sonic screwdriver? I just kind of told you, but really it's an icon of the show. It's, the doctor always has it, he always uses it to get out of situations, which is why it's also a tool. He uses it to his benefit to get him out of situations that, like, if he needs to unlock a door or if he needs to just stop something from attacking him, that's what he'll use. He'll use a sonic screwdriver. And it's also a pretty cool piece of technology because he uses these sonic waves for pretty improbable um, things. So it has a pretty large history. The show's been around for plenty of years, but its original use was to sonically unscrew screws. Since then, it's adapted into many different forms, usually changing when the doctor does. It doesn't always change when the doctor does, but it's a pretty big part of the show where everything's always changing, so it's adapted from one look to another work, uh, look until it is how it looks today. Where actually, he doesn't use a sonic screwdriver today anymore, he uses sonic sunglasses, but that's a brand new thing. It's questionable whether the sonic screwdriver will ever come back, but it's disappeared from the show plenty of times and it's come back again, so we'll see what happens. Then what does it mean to be sonic? Sonic, as defined by Google, is an adjective relating to or using sound waves denoting or having a speed equal to that of sound. So, sonic is a describing word for the sound screwdriver. It uses sound waves, basically what it is. It has a lot of uses, not all of it really plausible, but practical everyday uses I put over here. It can move objects, it can amplify sound waves, and it could screw in or tighten or unscrew screws. Over here, I have the less likely ones. It can track alien life in the show. I mean, I'm sure it could be used as a flashlight in the real world, but it wouldn't be using sound like waves to be doing that. It'd be using like an LED. And also, in the show, it can conduct medical scans, which, I mean, it can be used in medicine in the real world, but not the way the doctor uses it. It's not instant like that. So, here I have two quotes. The first one is a one that I thought really said a lot about who the doctor is. The least important things I boy often lead to most important discoveries. Some people might find the sonic screwdriver to be a part, like a small part of the show, but in reality, it it could be pretty huge. And high tech Swiss knife, just another way to describe it. Started out as a screwdriver, but now it just has so many uses that it's more like a Swiss knife than it's a screwdriver. So as real life applications, companies such as Sonic uses Sonic technology to improve life through advanced hearing. So they, I have their site listed here. What they do is they take Sonic waves and they use it to create things that will improve people's hearing so the life is better. Now for if it actually exists in the real world, it's being developed by very own Sonic. A team of physicians from the University of Dundee have begun to create their own model of the Sonic screwdriver. The experiment started to take place in 2012, it uses a sonic beam, it's shaped like a double helix, or the sonic beam is, and it uses waves to move objects. So really what they do is they point at an object, and I'm not sure, it probably isn't shaped like actual sonic screwdriver, but they just project, project the sound, uh, sound waves, the sonic beam, at the object, and the object will move, or, you know, start spinning, or they can... They can, in theory, unscrew stuff. They can, in theory, unlock doors, which is a little bit more development. 
So, basically the entire likelihood of our own sonic screwdriver being a thing with all the application the doctor uses it is not that good. I mean, top scientists are way more than decades away from recreating a sonic screwdriver capable of even mimicking the doctors completely. Despite this, we're able to manipulate sound waves in a way similar to the doctors. So, if we ever discover how he uses the sound waves for the applications he does, that'd be amazing, but in all reality, we'll probably just stick to moving stuff. Here you have my sources. Hope you enjoyed and hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.